everyone, Joel Lancer, and today we're in Charleston, South Carolina. Yes, Charleston, South Carolina at Kinfolk. Kinfolk, yes, guys, we're talking Nashville hot chicken, fried chicken. We were talking barbecue, yes, smoked meats. And we were talking soft serve ice cream. So here we had to do a very, very large, giant Nashville hot chicken and barbecue challenge. So I love Nashville hot chicken. It's always such a treat. And this is a really well-known spot for it. So for today's challenge, we do have a whole Nashville hot chicken. Um, very, very large pieces. All looks very, very delicious, guys. We were talking hand bread. We were talking being dredged in delicious, gooshy, like, you know, sauces, actually. In fact, it is house-rendered duck fat in the dredge. And then, of course, your uh, favorite kind of dry seasoning from the Nashville component. The barbecue itself, they smoke everything here, which is really awesome. Uh, there is a half rack ribs in this challenge, and we have three pints of their sides. Yes, three pints of their sides. Definitely a lot of food. We are gonna have 30 minutes to complete it, and, uh, and that's about that. So let's head on in, let's have some fun, I'll get you some more details here. Um, I believe the meal has about a $65 value, something like that, uh, maybe $70, and if we eat it, we'll get it for free. So let's head on in, let's have some fun, eat food, let's go. Everyone's here with all the food. Definitely looks very, very delicious, lots of it. So we have a side of beans. I then have a pint of their coleslaw. I have a pint of their cucumber salad, which looks really, really good. Apparently it is a great way to help kind of dull some of the heat coming from this uh, chicken. We then have what is a half rack of ribs, which look very, very delicious. And then the giant guys, the giant, giant, giant and spicy pieces of the freaking Nashville hot fries. So we have the whole chicken here. Um, we did go with the hot, so it is definitely a little bit of heat with that. Um, that's about that, guys. So let's get started here momentarily. It looks really good. I'm definitely excited. And uh, let's eat some food. All right, so hope we get started, let's hit the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. This is a very good rib, very, very tender. Yeah. Fantastic, actually. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Kinfolk. Yes, Kinfolk doing an absolutely giant Nashville hot chicken challenge. So first, before we even talk about the food, let's talk about getting to the restaurant. So the restaurant itself is located a little bit outside of Charleston, kind of what I'll classify a little bit like out towards the country. Um, out in this area, I know that there's like a lot of golfing and that kind of stuff, but I will say it was an amazing drive. Getting out here was such a beautiful drive. It was a beautiful place. Um, Charleston, if you've never been, is a great, great, great city and getting out to Kinfolk here was actually a super pleasant experience. Like I said, great drive, really enjoyed it. And now I, uh, we'll talk about the food because not only was it an enjoyable trip there, getting here was also super, super awesome. So for this challenge, essentially we had 30 minutes to eat what is a whole Nashville hot chicken, half rack ribs, and three giant, giant, giant sides. Did I say they were giant? When it came to the actual uh, barbecue, the ribs themselves, again, they did smoke all their meats there. The gentleman definitely had great culinary backgrounds, like really, really great culinary backgrounds, and it came through on the food. The ribs were absolutely deliciously flavored. They were soft, tender, still had texture, just a little bit of sauce on them, giving you that sticky, that sweet, that smoky. It was uh, honestly awesome. Really, really, really fantastic barbecue. Two minutes in, those ribs are fantastic guys. Very good ribs, enjoy them. Like really, really good. So now, let's get rid of that. There's a few pieces of bread here as well. The bread is not required. By the um, house made pickle. Mm. Tangy. Now let's get into some of this fried chicken. This is where it's gonna be interesting. These are giant though, absolutely, absolutely huge and very well dredged and sauced and flavored. So let's give this a go. Mm. Woo. That is some juicy chicken. Spicy though. Ooh, I'm, I feel that heat. And now let's start talking about the chicken. So the chicken itself, I will say, had a, a crazy, crazy, amazing, crispy, crunchy breading crust on it. Like when it comes to just a good piece of fried chicken, like even just, you know, without the Nashville additions, it was amazing how crispy, crunchy, 
um, and like substantial the breading was. And I say that in the most positive way. Um, it was super impressive. It's very hot. Okay. Great batter on this. Very, very crispy, very crunchy. Even with all the dredging, but it's eaten out, that's for sure. The uncle natural hot for nothing. Even with Nashville hot chicken, which the whole thing behind Nashville hot chicken is because you are um, essentially wetting the chicken in an oil, right? And it's fried in oil, oil and oil. It doesn't soften the breading. It's supposed to make it remain crispy. And then, you know, generally they put these seasonings on top. Um, and I will say from, you know, and that again, it creates the Nashville hot chicken. That's what Nashville hot chicken is known for. So an oil dredged or oil soaked chicken seasoned with um, kind of a you know paprika cayenne and you know other hot peppers you know uh, people such as here you can get like crazy hot chicken here um, including like Carolina Reaper ghost peppers like the options are endless now the chicken here was the hot version and it was hot like hot hot I found it definitely definitely quite spicy um, I, I it wasn't like the highest level with the Reapers in it um, but man this whatever they had in here was absolutely very very hot now, like I said, back to the actual chicken. I have never had such a, na like a natural hot chicken with such a, um, a crust that even like with the oil dredging remained so crispy. Giant piece of chicken on So crunchy, again, so like firm, substantial. And again, I mean that in the most positive way. Um, so super impressive. They definitely have their recipes down in the regard of actually, uh, you know, creating the chicken, um, you know, cooking the chicken and maintaining its quality and maintaining that really you know crispy crunch you want from a fried chicken sandwich yeah that got some heat uh, the chicken itself was really juicy it was definitely moist like I said I, I, the culinary skills of the individuals here was super 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 impressive um, now we did have a number of sides um, now of course while we're not at the sides yet the gentlemen were telling me that there's definitely kind of some Asian flair and cuisine in some of them, um, such as they had some Asian flavors in the uh, coleslaw, which I thought was really interesting, or at least it sounded really interesting, um, you know, and in and, and some of the other items as well, like one of the chicken sandwiches, again, same thing, kind of a bit of Asian cuisine, Asian flair, and this was just like part of their gentleman's uh, interest. And like I said, the gentleman definitely had some really uh, diverse culinary background. Um, again, 30 minutes to complete all this food. I definitely knew it was going to be a difficult one. Uh, I did eat earlier in the day, so I was not, uh, not like, you know, this wasn't my first time eating in the day, so hence I had some food in me. Um, I knew it was going to make it more difficult, but I don't think I anticipated how spicy this chicken was going to be. I definitely found this chicken very, very spicy. Uh, it, like, you know, and, and, and that's basically it. It was absolutely delicious. The ta It was tasting great, but once I got into the chicken, I knew how spicy this was. I knew this was definitely going to be a battle. Burning hot, guys. Woo. Definitely feel that. The spice is building. Oh, man. Let's see why they have ice cream here. Ice cream cool everything down. Um, so I did have some options uh, for the sides. Um, I just kind of went with my preference, you know, being again the coleslaw, the beans, and that lovely uh, cucumber salad there. You know, try to get some health, try to get some freshness, all about those veggies, um, you know, and uh, why not? I mean, when in Rome, I think beans and coleslaw uh, anywhere in the south is always a good choice, and that's definitely what I went for. About eight and a half minutes in, it is a very, very good taste in Nashville hot. It is damn spicy. You got that burn all around the mouth. That being said, you did say this cucumber salad can be quite cooling, refreshing. Maybe it'll kill the heat a little bit. Ooh. Very dilly. Very, very nice taste. Herbal, fresh. I will say that helped with the uh, it helped with the burn in my mouth. 
but burning all around my mouth. I don't think I'm gonna bathe myself in the in the salad, but maybe I will in a minute. Let's dive into some more of this chicken. Like I said, the amazing crispy crust on this. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can complete this battle. Hopefully we can win the battle. And let me know down below in the comments, are you a hot chicken person, a mild chicken person, or a medium chicken person? You know, like what's your spice level? Or maybe you're one of those people that likes really, really extremely, extremely hot. Like I said, let me know down in the comments down below and let's get to the rest of the video. Like I said, that chicken is kicking my butt. So, whew, we got one piece left. And maybe I'll try to get in some of these sides a little bit. About 13 minutes, well, 12.45 there. Whew. Bite you. One down, two to go. Oh man, I'm trying to take a break from that chicken. Like I said, it's very, very spicy. Ah. Maybe try to finish it. Ooh. And then just the sides. We're 1540 in. I'm not 19 minutes in, this is absolutely kicking my butt. Whew. It's definitely spicy, but we're, we're making our way through, slowly but surely. <laughs> I will say though, it's cooked very well, very juicy. Like I said, that crispy crust on that was like fantastic. Just heat. Chicken. Yes, I cleaned them. It's just like bone. Which obviously I'm not eating. But that's done. Now just down to the sides. Woo. 20 minutes, 20 seconds. break from that spiciness will be welcome. 
Down to the beans. Ooh. The spice is still killing me. is really cool actually. They have like a bit of an Asian uh, influencer saying. So I almost want to be like a kimchi. And these have uh, ribs in them. Man that spice is killing me though. Beans are really good. They have really nice, interesting flavor. It's like a Szechuan. Got some really interesting pairings. Ooh. Oh man, we're done. Woo. Way harder than I anticipated, guys. Woo. That chicken got some heat, but I will say, super, super impressive. I mean, it comes to hot chicken, I have never had a hot chicken with such a crisp, with such a kind of thick, substantial, and delicious batter. Like, you know, that's what the Nashville hot is for. That's why they dredge it and kind of in an oil, in a fat base, because oil, and we you know, it's fried in oil and the oil sauce. It's supposed to help the chicken, you know, remain really crispy. And man, it, this, like I said, I've never had a crispy, cr like crunchy, uh, beautiful fried piece of chicken like that, like for Nashville Hot at all. So definitely, definitely got to try their Nashville Hot Chicken. Definitely very, very good. It was very, uh, for me, it was very spicy. And they had like other levels above that one called Hellraiser, which is Carolina Reapers. This one didn't have Carolina Reapers in it, but it was hot. Hot flavor, very, very hot. Um, but that, guys, that's about it. Definitely some cool, uh, really unique flavors. Then the beans kind of like had a bit of a Szechuan, almost like a ginger in them. The uh, coleslaw um, reminded me kind of like a kimchi. That's kind of what it is, you know? It's a very unique combination of a kind of, you know, in call them our southern, traditional, homegrown foods with kind of, you know, a bit more like higher end eclectic, uh, Asian, international kind of uh, flavors. So we do get meal for fruit, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was tough, that was tough. This took the whole time and uh, man, I am, I am burning. I am burning still. So thought everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you get some ice cream, cool down a little bit. Um, but that guys, of course, the next time, happy, I'll be hungry, happy eating. Oh. And at that. I guess you always need something to spice up your life. Well, that definitely did it for me. So, until next time, everybody, have a lovely day.